So, leg seven of the Starters Orders Chase Qualifiers is the final race from here at Taunton then. Two miles and two furlongs again, and another small field for this one. 0 to 110 for this. And the top one is Moon Fairy, Martin Leader, Mad Maddie, Carl Arrogante, Pipe and Lie, James Follish, Jew Excellent, Doug Warren, Gravy Train, Kevin Meanahan, Mutanaka Black, Darren Howes, Canning Adu, that's Stu Gray, and Emma Wood, Alex Cherry. So, just eight then in this leg seven of the Starters Orders six. Chase qualify and away they go. Final entry, of course, on the final week of the season. Not sure it's the first three that qualify, but uh, it's beginning pretty full now. Not as many legs left as they make their way towards the first of the 14 fences, and over it they go. They're all safely over the other side. And we're going to do a bit of jockey camming, it would seem. And we're on the back of Emma Wood or Alex Cherry at this point. Raced up towards this ditch and safely over the other side. As it would appear, was everybody else on Duet Select now into a plain fence. And Mutanaka Black was a faller there, so didn't quite see it. But uh, Mutanaka Black out of the race. We're still on Duet Select as we come down to the fourth. So a more traditional shot we can see that Canine do that he's about four or five lengths clear of Pipe and Light in second and Emma Wood on the outside in third and the other four virtually in a line and Canine do that's got a good lead then about four or five lengths to the top white moon fairy in second then Gravy Train and Pipe and Light with Emma Wood Mad Maddie and Jew Exolette just the back marker as they take number five. Mutanaka Black having departed while we were jockey cabin. And this is the sixth. And we've lost another one there. It's Gravy Train who's gone this time. Crashed straight through the fence. So one's out with a bad look there for Kevin Meenahan who's been having a pretty decent day up until, until now as they skip over the next. And race away from us. That'll be the last on the next circuit. And can he now do that? We'll be hoping that he lands over it in the lead next time round as well. He's got a three length lead. Jewett, Slett, and Pipe and Light together. And then the other three are together as well in the line Mad Maddie, Emma Wood, and Moon Fairy. So, pretty tightly grouped. Can he now do that? He's got a comfortable lead. And the rest of them are close in behind. Pipe and Light in the blue. Jewett, Slett, in the crimson. A race away from us and down towards that next fence. Can he do that? We'll lead them into it from Pipe and Lyden and Jew Excellent. And over that one they go. They will chuck that one really nicely. Can they do that? The lead up. Moon Fairy's gone back in a second. Then Pipe and Lyden, then Jew Excellent. Mad Maddie on the inside and Emma Wood on the outside. And a little more than six furlongs left to go and quite a few fences still to take. And can they do that? Takes that one in the lead. They're all jumping well with Moon Fairy second. And then in third place is Pipe and Lyden. Jew Excellent is fourth. They take the next, and over that one they all go as well. Can you now do that? Just being bustled along a little bit to keep the lead from Moon Fairy, Piper and Lloyd and Jewex. Let them queue up behind to challenge. This is the 11th, and over that one they go, and can you now do that? Got over it nicely and get him a lead. There's just three to jump now, and can you now do that? Looks like he might have gone for home as they start to swing homeward. And Mad Maddie's moved through into second. Moon Fairy, the top weight, is in third, being weighed down a little bit by that weight. Pipe and Light is fourth. Then Jewix letting Emma Wood. He wouldn't rule anything out just yet. Mad Maddie now comes to take it up. Mad Maddie hits the front. Can he do that? Suddenly hits a flat spot being swallowed up by Moon Fairy and Pipe and Light. And Mad Maddie's gone on there. Mad Maddie skips over that one nicely. Then can he do that? Was a faller when beaten. But it's Mad Maddie who's gone five clear. Mad Maddie from Pipe and Light skips over the second last. Pipe and Light chasing in second. Then comes Moon Fairy and Jew Excellent. But Mad Maddie looks to be going well in the lead, coming down towards the final fence. And it's Mad Maddie skips over it nicely in the lead. Pipe and Light's in hot pursuit in second, but Mad Maddie got first run and put this race to bed really between the last two. And up towards the line, Mad Maddie's going to take the leg seven of the Stars Orders Chase Qualifier. It's Mad Maddie that wins it. Pipe and Light, Moon Fairy, Jew Excellent, and Emma Wood, the last one to finish with. A win for Carl Aragante, Mad Maddie, James Follis's Pipe and Lied was second, Moon Fairy was third, Jurex let fourth for Doug Warren and Emma Wood for Alex Cherry was fifth. That's your lot from Taunton. And now we go over to Newbury where Stu's got some pretty good races for you.